Buonasera, signore e signori. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really and truly honoured to have been invited here as mayor of the city of Naples, a city that is um, at the very heart of the Mediterranean. It is a crossroads of different peoples, religions, uh, cultures. It has never uh, been racist. It has never believed in uh, um, monolithic uh, thinking. I believe in the grassroots uh, um, movement so mayors look uh, uh eyes difference is not a threat it is an asset we are all human beings no one is illegal or are we all illegal i am part of italy which is a member of the european union well since 1950 to date the european union has uh, focused on the globalization of financial capital and goods but it has not really promoted the globalization of rights and of people a financial transaction does not need permission to go from hong kong to naples a person who's being bombed in north africa and is faced uh, with uh, un war and has to flee hunger and thirst, boards a ship and needs permission to leave and to obtain this permission, uh, he or she must prove that uh, um, he has uh, a job. I'm against uh, this residency permit uh, approach and I uh, regret the fact that some fishermen have been charged with uh, aiding and abetting uh, illegal migration because they um, rescued women and children. And this is uh, um, something that flies in the face of justice. We need to guarantee reception. Uh, this has to prevail over uh, spending review considerations, economy. But when we see people suffering and dying in our extraordinary Mediterranean Sea who try and cross it uh, perilously, we really need to tear down the walls of prejudice and fear. We must uh, know how to be welcoming. And uh, governments have a huge responsibility, both Europe and uh, national governments uh, have a responsibility because they have left uh, the mayors of the uh, um, southern Mediterranean alone. I'm against uh, policies based on austerity. Austerity only applies to the weakest, to the poorest, uh, to the um, outcast. I'm against uh, this free market uh, laissez-faire tries to teach us that uh, material well-being and universal consumerism brings happiness and the idea that the verb to have means more than the verb to be. I think that at the end of our life, what counts uh, is uh, how much we've loved and not how many material objects you have in your pockets. Money is important in order to lead a dignified life and wealth should be distributed and not just be in the hands of a few. Naples is the only city the only medium to large size city which has held a referendum in 2011, 27 million Italians said that water had to be a common good, uh, um, a good that belongs to all. And I'm very happy to Holy Father stress this uh, fact. Water is a common good. We have turned uh, uh, um, company into a common good. Uh, um, it belongs to everybody. It, it should not just uh, be available to those who are rich. And we have to go back to Aristotelian concepts. Uh, the earth uh, must be restored. It must not be um, exploited uh, ruthlessly because uh, the grassroots economy is what we must uh, promote, not that of senile capitalism. It is something that must guarantee that all may enjoy the beauties of our nature. Therefore, there needs to be a cultural revolution. The safety of our cities does not depend on the militarization of our towns, but uh, our squares, our streets, uh, our alleys must uh, be occupied by culture. My city is known for the presence of uh, people of different ethnic origin, and it is shameful that in my country there are five million uh, migrants who have lived here so long, and yet they are denied the right to vote. Uh, migrants should not be seen as uh, economic deadweight. They contribute to my country's economic wealth. We have to set aside uh, austerity policies. We have to promote globalization f from the grassroots. Uh, hopefully, um, 
with you solely, uh, migrants uh, can uh, become Italian citizens. We in Naples give honorary citizenship to the children of migrants, and this document gives access to council housing uh, to uh, crash. Uh, Jean-Jacques Rousseau said the problem isn't uh, to establish who had uh, uh, placed uh, uh, boundaries to define uh, public, uh, private the blame lies with those who have not removed these uh, fences. I promote uh, uh, participation of my citizens uh, to community action. There are many citizens who are reclaiming uh, rest derelicta, abandoned derelict areas. Uh, this is not a form of, squ of squatter occupation, but it is a form of liberation. And I thank my citizens for taking care of these places. Make uh, uh, the seafront a pedestrian area means opening up area to all citizens. It is not a case of closing uh, the road to traffic. I don't like the term suburb or slum because I believe that those areas that are termed such are in fact those with the most extraordinary um, human beings. And I would like to conclude by saying that human rights can be achieved uh, through the suffering of uh, those who are struggling, and we know that my city suffers on account of unemployment, uh, but we have not become more selfish, but we have become more um, sympathetic towards others. Uh, if you are suffering, you know what it's like to suffer. You, there is a letter written by a young boy addressed to me, uh, his, one of his parents was in jail, and yet he was concerned about uh, the many people who had these migrant boats. This shows that there is uh, humanity out there and we can develop different models and cultures uh, that uh, are far cry from uh, this free market uh, uh, thinking that wishes to stifle our communities. Thank you very much for your attention.